Christmas. Shopping for shipping. What's that? Someone's at the door. Wait a minute. Merry Christmas. Shopping for shipping. Seems like someone has given me a package. What could it be? What is this? Run free and dive into the sky. Hear the wind crying out its prayer. Why are we so ashamed to be alive? Break the chains and our freedom's lost its ache. What is up guys? Last week we took a look at the GoPro Hero 4 and I told you that this was still the best moto vlogging camera here today. As you can see, things have changed and I've got a couple of new GoPros here. The GoPro Hero 7 which came out around October 2018 and the just recently released GoPro Hero 8 which came out just now. The question is, do these new GoPros have enough new features and capabilities that will make moto vloggers like me finally ditch their beloved GoPro Hero 4? Let's find out. So the first thing that we're gonna compare is the form factor. Let's take a look at the GoPro Hero 7. The GoPro Hero 7 is actually sized in between the three. Although the actual size of the GoPro Hero 7 is much larger or much bigger than the GoPro Hero 4, it's still pretty compact. And you're able to fit a lot more hardware into this bigger size. And as you can see in terms of the design, the lens of the GoPro Hero 7 is replaceable. So more or less, only the body is gonna be damaged, but as long as the lens is okay, your video quality is going to be good. The GoPro Hero 8 represents the biggest leap in terms of the design from the original GoPro Hero 4. The reason for this is that there's no longer any protective housing. The camera, if you disregard the housing, is the largest size amongst the three. And as you can see, since there's no housing, in order to attach it to mounts, there is this flip out or fold out feet from the camera, which allows you to attach it to the different GoPro mounts. Given that there's no housing, the camera itself is larger. It's it's actually larger than the GoPro Hero 7. However, if you take a look at the GoPro Hero 7, it's actually a little bit longer in terms of the lens. You'll also notice that because they needed to put the feet in there, the battery door and the side door where the micro SB slot is, as well as the SD card location, is now combined to just one door, which is a huge ass door if you ask me. Now this is not ideal if you're gonna moto vlog because you need to put your microphone adapter into that USB-C slot. That's a big ass door that's now exposing the USB-C slot but also exposing the battery as well as the SD card. Together with the fact that the GoPro Hero 8 does not have a replaceable lens cover, I'd say this is probably not the best for motor vlogging where you might encounter small pieces of rocks or debris that might hit the front element of your GoPro Hero lens. And since you can't replace this, well you're out of luck. So amongst the three GoPros in terms of form factor, I really like the, go the form factor of the GoPro Hero 4. However, I do understand that in order to fit a lot of new technologies in the camera, which we'll talk about later, that they needed to make the camera a little bit bigger. So a good compromise between having protection of the camera lens as well as making the camera size larger and still having housing is the GoPro Hero 7. So amongst the three, I think the GoPro Hero 7 in terms of form factor is very good for motor blocking. The biggest advantage probably of the GoPro Hero 7 and the GoPro Hero 8 is its hyper smooth stabilization. See all these bumps on the road, the uneven surfaces? Well, the GoPro is gonna stabilize them. Yes, the video quality of the GoPro Hero 4 is acceptable. However, what really sets the 7 and 8 apart is really the hyper smooth stabilization. And for this, we need to go out on the road and test it out. 
What is up guys? We are testing right now the GoPro Hero 7 and we are comparing it with the GoPro Hero 4. So the audio that you are hearing is from the GoPro Hero 4 where I have the microphone attached. Here is the 4 and here is the 7. So we're gonna do a test of the GoPro. Uh, let's take a look at the image quality between the 4 and the 7 and also take a look at the stabilization of the 7. So here's the tra traffic test. <laughs> uh, it's, uh... So let me know guys how you are seeing the uh, traffic video quality. <laughs> Is the video quality of this uh, Metro Manila traffic looking good? with the GoPro Hero 7 and what about how it compares with the GoPro Hero 4 is it a big leap in terms of video quality however what sets the GoPro Hero 7 apart from its predecessors is the hyper smooth stabilization so Right now, it's uh, not exactly the, the smoothest road in the Metro Manila with all of these bumps <laughs> uh, and uh, potholes. Uh, this this piece is relatively smooth. But how how is the uh, how is the stabilization, guys? Is it a big leap versus the no stabilization of the Hero the Hero Four? Sorry, I got my visor open, so yeah, the microphone is probably not very good. Uh, so here, hopefully you guys can hear me a little bit better. So how is the video quality between the two? In terms of stabilization, is the GoPro Hero 7 significantly smoother than the 4? Let me know. Alright, for this test, we're gonna do a low light test by passing through a tunnel. Let's do this. So, how is it looking, guys? This is a low light test of the GoPro. How does it compare with the Hero 4? This is the Hero 7. Not total darkness, but low light. And transition to light. Jesus. What's up guys? We're now testing out the GoPro Hero 7 and the GoPro Hero 8 out and about in the metro. I'm off to play uh, <laughs> football uh, and while on the way there I thought of taking out both GoPros so we can test out the <laughs> the video quality and also take a look at how the stabilization differs between both of them so we'll see so this is a C5 Libis not exactly known for being the smoothest roads <laughs> here in Metro Manila but should be should be a good enough test scenario for both GoPros to see what they can do. It's uh, an overcast sky, a little bit cloudy because I think it's going to rain. And look at that traffic guys, it's really, really bad. <laughs> Sneaky. 
Sneaky Dicky! Sneaky Sneaky! <laughs> oh shit. Uh, doing these uh, sh sketchy moves, I'm still not comfortable doing it. So let me know what you think guys of the video quality between the GoPro Hero 7 and the GoPro Hero 8. Sneaky sneaky. Sneaky sneaky. So I hope you guys like that video in terms of testing the stabilization between no stabilization in the 4, hyper smooth stabilization in the 7, and hyper smooth 2 stabilization in the 8. Personally, I think the stabilization of the GoPro Hero 7 is very very good already in terms of motor vlogging. So with that, what is the advantage of the GoPro Hero 8? The things I like about the GoPro Hero 8 is the ease of use menu system, which basically allows you to define your most used settings into different presets. To be honest, when doing motor vlogs, you don't want to think about what settings you have in the camera, you just want to record. So I think these presets are not going to matter too much when motor vlogging. However, if you're a vlogger, not necessarily a motor vlogger, the presets are probably very useful to you because you're able to move from different presets, wide shot, slow motion, the linear lens. So I think the GoPro Hero 8 has an advantage there. So in conclusion, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use the GoPro Hero 7 for my moto vlogs. However, I'm still gonna use the GoPro Hero 8 for handheld vlogs. And as for the GoPro Hero 4, I don't know. Any of you guys want it? Well, that's all the time that we have for today. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Which GoPro is best for you? Are you using a GoPro right now or are you using a different camera? This is Moto HK from the Moto HK Studio, signing off. For this test, the cat test. <laughs> cat test failed.